Welcome to our Tech Insights video. Today, we're tackling an intriguing question from one of our viewers. They want to know about the differences between CosmoDB and DocumentDB, particularly highlighting the unique ability of CosmoDB to perform graph queries using the Gremlin query language. They also find it curious that while CosmoDB has this feature, DocumentDB lacks similar support for MongoDB. So what are the key distinctions between these two products? Let's dive in. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you work through to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. Let's begin by understanding the core differences between Azure Cosmos DB and Azure Document DB. Azure Document DB was the original name for what is now known as Azure Cosmos DB. One of the key features of Azure Cosmos DB is its multi-model capability. This means it supports various data models, including document, key value, graph, and column family. In contrast, DocumentDB primarily focused on document storage. While it provided a robust document database, it lacked the multi-model capabilities that Cosmos DB offers. Another significant difference is the global distribution feature of Cosmos DB. It allows for automatic multi-region replication, ensuring low latency and high availability. Lastly, regarding pricing and marketing, while they may appear similar, Cosmos DB offers a more comprehensive set of features and capabilities, justifying its pricing model. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Cosmos DB is the new version of DocumentDB, designed as a NoSQL solution. The DocumentDB API is now called the Azure Cosmos DB SQL API, and existing applications will continue to function without changes. DocumentDB is one of the APIs available within Cosmos DB. When creating a Cosmos DB instance in the Azure portal, you can choose from four APIs, Gremlin for Graph, MongoDB, SQL for DocumentDB, and Table for Key Value Storage. And guys, that's it. I hope this video has helped you and get you through to that resolution you needed. If it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you hit subscribe. Now, until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.